Good day to you. You're welcome. This is financial accounting. So our topic of discussion today is manufacturing account one. All right. So we want to look at manufacturing account. All right. These are the subtopics that we need to look at to understanding what manufacturing account is. All right. Manufacturing account is an account used by manufacturing outfits to determine the costs incurred in production of commodities. All right. So how do we define manufacturing accounts? Manufacturing accounts is an account prepared to determine the total amount incurred in production of a commodity. And the total amount incurred in production of a commodity is called production costs. All right. So an account that will enable an organization to determine the total amount incurred to put a commodity into the form that will be made available for use is what we call what manufacturing cost. Now, why do we prepare manufacturing costs? What are the reasons why a business organization prepares manufacturing costs? Number one is what we know to determine production costs. Like what we want to do today is to determine to prepare manufacturing accounts or now to determine production costs only. But manufacturing accounts not only prepared to determine production costs, it's also prepared to determine manufacturing profits. Manufacturing profits. Alright, I'm gonna explain what manufacturing profit is. Alright, and then lastly. Manufacturing account is prepared to determine what we call market value. Market value of goods produced. So these are the reasons why manufacturing account is prepared. Now, when we talk about production cost, it is the amount incurred by a production outfit or by a business organization in order to produce a particular word, commodity. What do we refer to as market value of goods produced? If company A does not want to produce and decides to buy a commodity from company B, alright, that means the amount that that commodity is bought should be the market value, market value of a commodity. So a company may choose to either produce or buy and sell. So if a company wants to produce a commodity and if the cost of production per unit of that commodity is 10 naira, all right? And the market value, if the company want to buy in order to sell, the cost of production is 13 naira to buy and sell. Now, if company A decides to produce at 10 naira, company A will now transfer the goods produced at 10 naira to the sales department of that same company A at the market value, which is 13 naira, which means within this organization producing commodity A, all right, the commodity is produced at 10 naira. The market value of the commodity is 13 naira. So the production department is transferring the commodity to sales department at a profit margin of the difference, which is 30 naira. So this profit margin is what called manufacturing profit. While this 13 naira is what called market value of goods produced. So manufacturing account does not only help us to determine the costs in care the production of commodities, it also helps us to determine the market value of goods produced and it helps us to determine the profit margin in between, which we call manufacturing profit, which means a good a particular commodity is produced at a particular amount by the production unit. Production unit is transferring it to sales unit at the market value, which means the amount it will be bought and sold as wholesaler. Alright, so that's amount is what market value. So the difference between the cost 
of goods, the amount in current production, and the market value. That's called what we call manufacturing profit. So these are the three reasons why manufacturing accounts is major reason why manufacturing accounts is prepared. Now, what look at our uh, terminologies that will enable us to understand the formats of manufacturing accounts. The first is direct expenses. What are direct expenses? Direct expenses are expenses that can be traced, expenses that can be traced to the production of a commodity. Expenses that can be traced to the production of a commodity. Let's look at a, uh, a bakery, all right? We should know all direct expenses of a bakery will involve butter. Because butter will be used, it will involve flour, flour will be used, it will involve yeast, yeast to be used. All these are expenses that can be traced to the production of a commodity. All right, and those expenses are said to be what direct expenses. And direct expenses consist of uh, the labor, um, the services of the salaries that will be paid to labor that are directly involved in production of commodities such as um, the um, workers in the factory producing bread all right so in that case they are called manufacturing wages it's called manufacturing wages so their manufacturing wages can be traced directly to the production of a commodity. So these are direct what expenses. Now, what are indirect expenses? Indirect expenses are expenses that cannot be traced to the production of a commodity. Indirect expenses. Indirect expenses are expenses that cannot be traced expenses that cannot be traced to the production of a particular commodity example of this is depreciation depreciation of plants and machinery so the depreciation of plants and machinery cannot be directly traced to the production of a commodity okay so direct expenses are expenses that can be traced to the production of commodity indirect expenses are an expense that cannot be traced to the production of a commodity all right so please let's know that cost of raw materials available okay the next is cost of raw materials raw materials available cost of raw materials available is the summation of the opening inventory of raw materials and purchases of raw materials then deducting the closing inventory of raw materials so to get our cost of raw materials available it is calculated like this opening inventory of raw materials We add purchases of RMEs raw materials, then we add carriage on raw materials. All right, so with less returns on raw materials, what's called returns outward. So when you deduct this, what you have here becomes your cost of raw materials available. That means this is the raw material that is available for use, for use in production process. Okay, so the summation of opening inventory, what you call opening stock of raw materials, they add it to purchase of raw materials, add carriage or carriage on raw materials is what called carriage. 
in words. And what is carried in word? Amount incurred in bringing raw materials into the organization. Or if it is being purchased, amount incurred in purchasing goods that will be sold. That's what we're carrying in words. Then any returns on those raw material purchase, they are called returns on raw materials, or it can be called returns outward. So that's the next. The next one is cost of raw materials consumed. Cost of raw materials. Raw materials consumed. Cost of raw materials consumed. Cost of raw materials consumed is the difference between cost of raw materials available and closing stock of inventory. Now, what is it like? We have cost of raw materials available. Is this value? So I'll deduct my closing stock Closing inventory of raw materials. So what I have here becomes cost of raw materials consumed. So the difference between closing stock of inventory and cost of raw material available for sale gives me cost of raw material consumed. Then just a minute. All right. Then the next is the prime cost. Prime cost. Prime cost. Prime cost is the summation of cost of raw materials consumed and all direct expenses. So to calculate my prime cost, I'm going to say cost of raw materials consumed added to all direct expenses. What are direct expenses? Factory wages. Or oh, please note, it can be factory or manufacturing. Manufacturing wages. Alright? Direct labor. Direct materials. So when you add them together, what I have becomes prime cost. Then the next is factory overhead cost. Factory overhead cost. Factory overhead cost is the summation of all indirect expenses. So the summation of all indirect expenses of a business organization. It is what we call factory overhead cost. So, all indirect expenses that cannot be traced to the production of a commodity. So, all indirect what? Expenses. The summation of all indirect expenses is what we call factory overhead cost. These are the terminologies we need to understand. As you can see on the board, it's just a build up from direct expenses. Look at what indirect expenses are. After indirect expenses, we got cost of raw materials available, all right? The cost of raw materials available is the summation of opening stock of raw materials, which is opening virtual of raw materials, purchases, carrying the world, and you deduct returns outward. Then we have cost of raw materials available. The next is cost of raw materials consumed. It is the difference between cost of raw materials available and closing stock of inventory. Then the next is prime cost. Prime cost is the summation of cost of raw material consumed and all direct expenses. The next is uh, the prime cost, all right? Which is the summation of this, okay? Followed by factual buyer cost. Factual buyer cost is the summation of all indirect expenses. Then what is my production cost? My production cost. My production cost is the summation of prime costs and factory overhead cost. So you can see the build up. The addition of this prime cost 
and factory by code. Remember, prime cost is additional cost of raw material consumed and all direct expenses. Then when you add up this prime cost with all factory by cost, what you have is your production cost. So with this, manufacturing account is ready. Whatever the case may be. Now, how do we prepare? Now we understand the terminologies. How do we prepare a manufacturing account? Let me write the format on the board quickly. Okay? Let me write the format on the board quickly. I'm going to use the vertical format. Okay? Vertical format. So let's say we have X, Y, Z Limited. That's the name, example. So we have manufacturing, manufacturing account for the year ended 31st December 2019. Don't forget, we have our opening inventory of RM means raw materials. Okay? Then we add purchases of raw materials. We have carriage inward. Carriage inward means carriage on raw materials. So we have this. Then you less returns outward. When you less returns outward, what we have here become costs of raw materials available. All right. So just like what I just explained, how do I get the next one? I deduct my closing stock of inventory closing inventory of raw materials I have my cost of raw materials consumed then I have direct expenses like manufacturing wages I have my direct materials. I have direct labor. So if I had all this, what I have here becomes my prime costs. Then my factory overhead costs. So my factory overhead costs, they are my lighting and eating, factory rent, factory rent, uh, factory salary, uh, we have depreciation of plants. All right, we have royalties. So when we deduct this, what we have here, the addition of these two, you can see, sorry, it will be added rather. The addition of this factory by it are my prime costs gives me my production costs. So with this, I have what we call my manufacturing account. It gives me my production costs. You can see from the build up of these terminologies, you can see that's how the format is being arrived at. Alright? 
this is not a big deal at all. Okay, so I'm going to bring a question now. We are going to answer a question based on this format. Alright, then we are going to answer a theoretical question to see if we understand everything that I've explained in this topic. Thank you. Okay, we have um, an exercise, an example on manufacturing accounts. Based on what we just learned, let's solve questions so as to see if we can still remember. Alright, this is the question. Venice Bears Company Limited is a company involved in the manufacture and sale of children wares. Below is the company's trial balance as at 31st December 2015. So here is it. We are told to uh, at the end we are told to prepare a manufacturing account for Venice Wears Company. Limited as at 31st December 2015. Okay, now don't forget in preparing the account, the first thing you need to do is the name. So here we have Venice Wears Company Limited. So we are preparing manufacturing accounts for the year ended 31st December 2015. So the first thing we are after is our opening stock of inventory. Opening inventory of raw materials. I can see here is it six one one eight seven five. So we had our purchases, purchases of raw materials. Our purchase of raw materials is here three million, three million two three four. One, two, five. Okay, so we have our carriage on raw materials. Carriage inwards. Our carriage was there 36, one, two, five. 36, one, two, five. So let's add the three together. So we have six one one eight seven five plus three two three four one two five plus thirty six one two five. So we have three million eight eight two one two five. So we less do you have any returns outward? We have used opening, we are used purchases, we are used carriage, there's manufacturing, there's no returns outward. So definitely that we, now that we don't have returns outward, this is going to our cost of raw materials available because there's no returns on raw materials. So we are going to deduct our closing inventory of raw materials so our closing venture of raw materials is here which is 815 815 525 so 815 so we have three million zero six 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 hundred. So here, what we have is our cost of raw materials consumed. All right. So what the next step is to get our our prime cost. So we add direct expenses. Which of these are direct expenses here? 
our direct expenses here is only this manufacturing wages. So we had our manufacturing wages, manufacturing wages. This manufacturing wages is added. All right, manufacturing wages three seven six, three seven six two fifty. So the addition gives us this. So we have three million four four two eight fifty. All right. So this is my prime costs. So we need to calculate our factory overhead costs. And what would that be? Our factory overhead costs are all indirect expenses, which is what? Our rent. The rent is 365,000. 365,000. Depreciation. All right, we have General expenses, general expenses, general expenses is 14,000. We have factory lighting, our factory lighting is 66,000. Okay, we've used rent, we use general expenses, we use lighting. Then the last, depreciation of plants and machinery. Depreciation of plants and machinery. So, oh, plants and equipment. So depreciation of plants and equipment is 41,600. So yes, 66,000. So let's sum up. So I have thirty six five thousand plus fourteen thousand plus sixty six thousand plus forty one six hundred. So what I have is four eight six six hundred. So I will just transfer it here. I have four eight six six hundred. So this is my factory by head cost. If I add the factory by head cost to my Prime cost, what I have will be my production cost. Let me add the two together. Three, four, four, two, eight, five, zero. So what I have here is three million nine two nine four fifty. So yes, my words, my production cost. Yes, my production cost. This is my production cost. So with this, we have answers to questions relating to manufacturing accounts. So any question on manufacturing accounts, you should have no problem based on the principles given to you. Thank you.